Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, we're in my kitchen, staring at my refrigerator, because I wanted to show you, um, kind of live, uh, what you could do with my block puzzle uh, Tetris style project. I threw a bunch of the pieces up here that I printed out the other day. Um, they're pretty easy to move around. These are not super strong magnets. Um, they're not also not too easy to pull off though, um, because they're so thin. Which means once somebody puts it down, it's pretty much going to stay down for the most part, and they just have to worry about uh, putting it in the right place. So how could we do like a live, you know, block puzzle game? Uh, what I did is take this strap or uh, scrap from the edge of the magnet sheet and marked it off every inch and a half. Uh, these are all an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Take that, put it on the bottom. That could be the width of of the uh, blocks we're going to make. Now when you play Tetris on the computer, on the phone, whatever, they usually give you, the, the typical game is maybe two minutes to make as many lines as you can. Now here, we can't make lines and have them magically clear away, but we can make lines. And you can do exactly what you would do with the actual game of Tetris with this. Give the kids a bunch of these, a huge handful of these, two or three sheets worth. Give them two minutes and say, I want you to stack up as many straight lines going across as you can. Complete lines, this one happens to have uh, seven blocks going across. Um, the only caveat being they have to kind of use the rules of gravity, which means they do, it does have to touch the bottom and has to be flush like that. Okay. So, But the thing is it's random just like the computer game because if I just take a stack of these that were printed out and say, pull them out of a paper bag, for example, or, or a bag where they can't see into it. I pull this out and I think, okay, what am I going to do with this? All right, I'm going to put this one here. Uh, let's say I pulled that one out from before. I put that one there. Put this one there. Now I have one, I already have one line. Here's another one. Here's another one. And it, it can happen pretty quickly or it can happen pretty, it depends on the what they actually pull out here. Um, there's all the typical pieces that you would see in the Tetris game. T shapes, the two L shapes, the two Z shapes or zigzag shapes, the stick, the block. Um, there's nothing else really uh, there in terms of like special blocks. This is actually a full sheet that I haven't cut out yet. You can see every single one of the five sheets that I made have brown spaces in them. That's because uh, I tried to fit as many pieces into as few sheets as possible, into five sheets, because that's what the typical pack of magnet sheets comes in. And inevitably there were some empty blocks when I tried to fit everything together. But what you can do with those, and the reason I did color those in, is if you want to make an, your own piece, that's great. If a piece breaks, you can tape a couple of these together and you'll have that piece again. Um, another thing you could do with this is, let's say you give the kids a shape that they have to create using these shapes, like a larger shape, maybe a huge cross. In that way it becomes almost sort of like tangrams. Um, I would also recommend maybe you could do it in teams where kids alternate taking out pieces and they're trying to make as many of these together um, as possible, going back and forth, picking out things and giving them a time limit. Why does this work? It's geometry, it's spatial relations, it's problem solving, and, it's do and especially if you give them a time, and I can't stress that enough, they have to think of it like that. I think Tetris is one of the greatest games ever created for the mind. I think I would not be where I am right now and would not know as much math and be as good as it as I was from a young age if I hadn't been playing Tetris from the first original Nintendo system that I had. So that was really the impetus behind this. I want to take that game and give you a version that you can make on your own and bring to the classroom. So if you have a magnetic board or even just the side of a filing cabinet, you can do this.